Like a lot of Charles moves, it all starts with loading the suspension. So instead of just going in there, grabbing the front brake and hoping the rear tire comes up, you want to start by compressing the rear shock. And to do that, you just stomp your body weight down in the foot pegs, let it compress, and when it's ready to rebound, that's when you grab the front brake and push your hands towards the front of the front tire and also transition your body weight forward over the front end. That should lift the rear tire up and just practice getting it up one to two feet. That's about as much as you need to go when you are ready to start kicking it side to side. But at first, just practice getting it up, letting it back down, riding away. If you feel the rear tire coming up too high, just let off the front brake and try to move your body back over the bike. That should drop the rear tire down before you go over the bars. But don't worry if you do go over the bars a couple times, it's all part of learning. When the rear tire lands, it's good to practice landing on both brakes. This just lets the suspension settle slower and you can land much more balanced and in control. If you're having trouble getting the rear tire up, you can practice using a blip of throttle as the suspension is rebounding. That just helps get the rear tire up a little bit easier, but the timing can be really difficult. So listen and watch to exactly when I use the throttle here. It's good to practice trying to stop right as you land with the clutch in and the brakes on. This will just help you adapt to the settling suspension and trying to hold your balance and it will set you up better if you are tightening up a corner and having to do multiple hops it will just prepare you for that. The next step is to try to throw the rear tire left or right. To do that it's a very similar start with loading the suspension and jumping your body weight forward over the front end or grabbing the front brake to get the rear tire up. But instead of keeping the handlebars straight you want to turn in the direction you want to go just a little bit to get your shoulders to start going that way and as you stop on the foot pegs you want to jump harder on your outside foot peg and throw your hips in the direction you want the rear tire to go and the bike should follow and land underneath you. If you're having trouble getting the bike to land underneath you, try to pull a little bit harder with your inside ankle. Maybe tuck it under the airbox a little bit to try to really pull it underneath you and land square and balanced and ready for the next obstacle. Be sure to practice hopping both directions. People usually spin better one way over the other, but chances are you'll have to be turning right just as much as you will left. Getting the rear tire higher will help give you more time to get it around further and will also create a better pivot point when more weight is over the front axle. Once you get very comfortable doing these, you will find that you can modulate the front brake. If the rear tire starts to come up a little bit too much, you can let off the front brake just a little bit, help bring it down, and then when you need that final little pivot, you can grab the front brake again to stop on your pivot point and set the rear tire down where you want it. Getting comfortable moving the rear tire can take a long time, but just start small and work your way up and it'll be paying off in no time.